Crossville is once again the toast of the town in high school football. A big part of their success has been their senior running back, Corey Catron. 12 times this season, he's ran in a touchdown. Every one of them meaningful. For the Bulldogs, touchdown. A touchdown means six points on the scoreboard. Under the lights on Friday night, nothing like it, honestly. But for Corey Catron, a score. He works his tail off. He's worth so much more. Every day, I think of her. Corey Catron. The Catrons are a tight knit family. Oh, they're top of my list. The family that we have is just unmatched. We're someone gets hurt or someone gets sick, we're all there for each other. They needed to hold each other together when tragedy struck. I had to put my uh, big boy pants on. Hey, Vern, you got four kids back home. You got to buck up, dude. In late 2014, Corey's mom, Vicki, began her battle. I noticed her speech was getting a little bit different. She went to a dentist appointment, and the dentist noticed the texture, her tongue, it was a little bit swollen. He called me the next day and says, I think you need to call your doctor and get checked on this. ASAP. She was diagnosed with amyloidosis, a rare protein deficiency that attacks central organs. No cure exists. So we're like, oh, we got this, we got this, but we had no idea that uh, we were talking months. On May 19, 2015, Vicki passed away. Dad came walking up, not showing very many emotion at the time, but once he walked in, he broke down. There's just part of you that's gone. That's, that's just gone. As the years passed, Corey became a star on the Rossville football team. Just trying to make her proud and anything and everything that I do. As he broke free for a touchdown. It was last year against St. Mary's. He found a way to honor his mother. Halfway through the run, I realized I was going to score and kind of just came up with it then. And then ever since then, just done it every time. A point to his mom, watching from above. I thought it was pretty awesome that he did it. I asked him why he did it. He said he just felt, he just felt, he felt her there. Yeah, I know she's up there watching down on me every, every time I do something, even if it's not on the football field. Now, the Catrons also wanted to thank the Rossville, St. Mary, Silver Lake, and countless other communities for helping out while they grieved.